it is time for Talk the Ting with Kim. And you guys know that this is our discussion segment every week. When we talk the things, them, you know, you guys share topics with us and we, we delve into it. We ask questions, we research it, anything you're gonna need. Oh, we got it for y'all. So for this week, I know we had said the dating expectations, right? So this one was really a video that was shared with me. And the lady was, uh, let me see, Tori says, in and out on the live, you know, because as usual, me I look fool. <laughs> Tori, we appreciate the update, you know. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm going to want to know participation. I'm going to want to know your feedback. going to want to know your points of views, all right? So for this discussion, uh, we wanted to know about dating expectations. And what really inspired this topic was a video that was shared with me. And this woman was talking about, you know, this guy invited her out on a date and he was like, he was very intentional about his, his, his actions. You know, he said, boy, I don't know when it's day, day off going to be, you know, but whenever, whenever it is, he wants to see her. And then on top of that, the following week, he's like, listen, I hope you like so and so, you know, because I made plans, you know, I, I, I made a reservation. This girl was so impressed. She, she had to think about for go put on lashes, which she not put on all long. Um, she'll look, she look for go buy a dress, which she's never been or have not in a while been inspired to go even buy a new dress for go look nice for nobody. So basically, you know, it brought up the conversation about dating expectations. Is that what women want? And of course, more also want to know what a man them want as well. So we were supposed to do the female perspective this week it never to work out so we're gonna do the female perspective next week and we're gonna do the male perspective this week all right, all right well. so i see too cute well i see sammy joe joining sammy joe big up yourself she said yo and tash said nobody no one share number four for do you hear <laughs> and kimmy and marie big up yourself thank you for joining uh and tamara mckenzie 86 my see people are running for the light i like it yes yes so yes. guys i hope you all will participate sharing the feedback and guess what since it's a holy for ladies from the life guys not afraid for ask the questions them well what i think we should do kimmy i think we should just throw it out there and just put general dating expectations yes so ladies submit the question we can get two girls and two, and guys, two guys right to just battle it out to say you know yeah if this is we true we can do us. a mixture we can do yeah. a mixture but ladies i want you guys to send in your questions so if you have questions you know what what, what i'm to them, money you know whatever it is or you know i don't know why men struggle to understand whatever it is we have two experts in that gender right now <laughs> 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 we have two experts in their gender right now so we have the gentleman to my right he is xavier xavier introduced yourself oh yes good evening lena, lena yeah. <laughs> xavier well relaxing now yeah. yeah oh yes good evening all Jamaica. right you're hearing you loud and xavier clear speaking uh -huh. so you guys are fine okay yes. Yes. all right and what makes you an expert in this field xavier well, I wouldn't say expert, expert per se, but um, I'm just grateful and happy to be here to you, give you, my two cents. You've been a male for some <laughs> He's time. He's been a male for some time. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know why I keep my try set to you. But Tori said expert, make yeah. sure, you know. <laughs> right? Keep my try set to you, but we understand. And Tori said, happy for that young lady. I haven't been on a date since 2020. Mm -hmm. Care out myself on Sunday, yeah? Sammy Joe said, not a question, but people should, should always be honest when it comes mm -hmm. to dating. And Tash said, only date for me, the fun calendar. Listen, guys, you know what I'm picking up here? Mm -hmm. A lot of trauma is out there. Definitely. Right? <laughs> and then uh, what I would say picking up is that I'm really saying I want a body. All right. All right, ladies. What do y'all say to that? So, all right. So what we're going to get into now is a real discussion. Yes. It's really a discussion. We're going to open the floor. We're going to open the floor. We're going to say what I want to say. And the share what I want to share. And I said two experts in their gender. And you we know, have one has, expert in her gender. <laughs> and one expert. Well, several experts because, you know, them up on the line. All right. But Sammy Joe said, be honest with yourself and your potential date or partner. And Tori said, then I'm... Then Make him talk not like him. Oh, then I then what? <laughs> she said, "All right, she type it wrong. That's uh -huh. why I can't get it." Mm -hmm. She said, "Then I'll make him talk." So, so I think she mean then what make him talk? Right. So then she said, "Like him, 
Bottom voice for Come On Air. Okay. All right, baby, the ladies liking the voice. Like in the voice. Okay. So I guess so when you're going on dates, yeah, yeah, yeah it's a plus, yeah? Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Make sure you set up the, the, the date via phone. So call and talk to her, yeah? Yeah, that's right. If it's she's messaging, up. just say, hold on, let me call Let me call you. you. You know, we can't, we can't watch up here. Voice. Yeah. Right? All right. Advice <laughs> Too cute. It's a smutty, a smutty my look. <laughs> Ladies, what is this? So? <laughs> right? All right. So, mm. dating expectations. Yeah. So, gentlemen, first mm. of all, what type of woman or what characteristics would you say you mainly go for in women? We have different age groups, different age range. You know, you're like, I feel like as you get older, you're, you're, well, you look for changes. So we're going to start with Xavier. Yeah, make Xavier start. Come Xavier, on, what would you say are some characteristics that you deem important mm-hmm. in a, a partner for you? For sure, for sure. Appreciate the question. Well, for me, you know, I always look for a lady that tends to be, firstly, you know, well put together, carry, carries herself well, mm-hmm. and is um, humble. Mm-hmm. Humbleness is, 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 is very, it's paramount for me. Like a, a, an individual who's you know humble and yeah, looks, of course, but that's not everything. But mm-hmm. um, I tend to just go for someone that's humble, characteristics or traits, you know, family oriented. Mm-hmm. You know, I lo- I'm a family type of person, I'm very, you know, somewhat like to you know, take time off to spend time with family and just to bond and to know that person. So if it is that they have a good relationship with their parents, yeah, you know, their siblings. Uh, you pre-all you know, them something grandparents. there. You pre-all them something I there. I pre-all that. And okay. personally speaking, I will, obs- I will observe a female. I will like a female or have a crush on her or what have you. But I'll like observe her for like a month before even actually giving her a hint that I may be interested in her or want to oh. So you say, nah, see her or yeah, running. Yeah, the gun. Yeah, I don't know those running. Yeah, don't actually. Do don't do that, don't gentlemen. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> trap. Coming from the experts. Yeah. <laughs> don't just see her and running. Okay. Right? Observe yeah. her. Yeah, observe and before it. you make a move, even before you even make her know, say yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Your, your first, you say, you're, you're saying that your first, your first idea could be a bit off. So you want to make sure, yeah, say observe. she's she's like that. Don't be quick because okay, she look nice today. Yeah. That's not yeah, that's it. Find no. out a bit. So, okay. So observe them, like for example, let's say in a school setting on uh-huh. campus or so. Observe how she, um, you know, how she um. <laughs> what I was Probably looking interact for. with her interact friends. That, that, yeah, yes, that's interact. interact with her friends. So yeah. she interacts with the teachers. Even a simple thing as how she like when you're open the door and let's say there's like an anxiety staff worker coming in. Yeah. Or she would you know pass them to say good morning or good no, evening. No, oh, as if, as if yeah, you are yeah. evaluate, evaluate. Yeah. Yeah. No, but as in things. no, bear man, I'm not saying it's in a negative way. No, no I no, admire no. everything because people are say yo, you sound like a sensible man still. Yeah. Cause <laughs> enough man just running like them a deer, them a hunt deer, <laughs> right? And then Tori said, here oh, you my talk. You expect me for really listen now? Me, me think Tori think your voice too smooth. Mm. She not trust smooth. Well, got set up. Right. Um, Tori, um, <laughs> what I would say is, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. You think you're back with a little explanation. Right? Bro. It must make it awesome. I can't know about it. The voice just naturally buttery, uh, you know? Uh, and then um, Tori said, firstly, I don't expect anything on a date. I want to know my, my money and a taxi my number and speed dial. I'm afraid, you know? Because, you know, Tori has been burned. Right. So, Tori, right? I, that, as, as Kimmy said, that sounds like, you know, another traumatic response. And then with that mindset, I'm not so sure you'll get the full enjoyment of the date. As you know, yeah. Well, Tori, I agree with you. Even though, you know, your smooth voice are frightening her. Mm-hmm. She said she's she said he's making a lot of sense. But these men running like Dopey are run run them down. And Tash said, true, too cute. Them not have no standards as long as, as it's a female. So ladies, we basically have uh the consensus that once anything in our skirt. Man head, well, right? I mean, that was going to so be my answer. So that's yeah. So <laughs> go with, go your ahead with the question now. now. So no, what are the main characteristics yeah. that you look for in a lady? All right, you see me now, because there's a little age difference between myself and Xavier, mm-hmm. right? So when I was about Xavier's age, <laughs> yes, I looked forward to those things, you know, you know, courteous, mannerable, polite, you know, all those wonderful things. Mm-hmm. Now, when I'm at my age, now at this time in life. I tend to try and look for, you know, a lady that likes me. <laughs> Makes sense. Hold on, no one is going like, no. You need a hug? No, it's not Kim. <laughs> Trust me, no. Right. You see, right now, Kim, nowadays, it's like basically, where, where I find it is like, 
who me like, no like no me. No like you. And who like me, me no like. So sometimes it's, well, it's, it's weird for you to say, boy, you find all these great qualities in the person, but somehow, you know, either, you know, they don't like you or something. So if you're really looking to say, boy, relationship sometimes, me, you can't to um yeah it's basically you see how the person treats you first mm -hmm. in a sense because no trust me nowadays man stop running on woman like that lies lies the, i'm sure you the man lies. That is, i can tell you that as of uh, this afternoon that's no, a lie that's all right you want me to explain this to you all right you see when me talk, when me talk about man running down woman kim all right i'm talking Wait, about physically i'm running? talking about a man who likes a lady and is pursuing her with the intention of dating her towards marriage. Mm -hmm. The man them will not talk about, oh, enough man around me down. Or the girl must say them something there. The man they don't want to know for no, no long-term so, so relationship. I will, I will agree with the True. fact that men aren't pursuing you like one time. I tell you. You see the minute you tell them no two times, all right. Because they really <laughs> once upon a time they run it down all sixty times tell them no, it can't change their then, mind. The man they were run down the woman them now is not no long term relationship. Yeah. So all of this sweet lyrics so they might throw it on the ladies head them are swelling and I say, Oh my gosh, no man I run her down. Listen me, that run down there and I nothing uh, to uh, give, I know nothing for So the right? real man them out there were really I say boy I would love to pursue a woman like that. Mm hmm we can't even enter the competition because we don't stop the 50 man we are running the dung and you win our gear 50,000 lyrics <laughs> off of the bat we don't have to look for our letter where we write or our little gift where we put together because guess what we don't have to fling out the, the mark x and the, all them things they put on right away all right well yeah. first and foremost we'll see mm. some more comments and too cute say yeah. tell us the age sir <laughs> <laughs> too cute <laughs> <laughs> too cute want to know you know too cute you're too rude <laughs> she's doing that interview <laughs> you know like how xavier said observe yes she observe on this touch that will i'm gonna check your age group first <laughs> we just said that there's a, uh, that's why we get two different age groups here you now so we get two different perspectives, perspectives yeah. right uh, Kimmy and Marie over there dead with laugh. Yeah. So, Tori says, so wait, Lionel, one of the experts? Hold on, let me, me, me turn <laughs> off the stove. Let me, me turn off the stove. And then Carty said, careful, Lionel, one side like. And touch the murder. <laughs> <laughs> and then she agreed. I just said, man, now do that again for real because I realized them will, as I said, them will approach you. And as you say, half of them probably don't make no sense. They probably don't really have no proper intention for you. That's correct. But they're going to approach you because men are afraid to approach you. <laughs> right? But I realized that that longevity, you start to hear a story say, you know, I was I was um, after her for three years. Ah. And one day she gave it, not no go so that again. Go that's, in a, that's in a movies alone. That's that's you yeah. tell them no, probably one time, some of them cut left you. Yeah, some of them are two or three. That's at the maximum. <laughs> after that, them just say, all right, no worry, there's... Actually, while you are saying no, it then block off. And I'm here to <laughs> and the girl where they walk past them and turn. Yeah. One life, one life right. she are, and them start Moving walk. Right to them so. start walk off before them hear the rest of the That's no. The yeah. <laughs> That's just how it is now. Mm -hmm. So Tash say, as long as they don't get a vibe, them gone to the next. And that's really what is vibe, happening. And that's that's where we are. But you're saying that's happening because the men who genuinely want um, to make an effort, they're not being given the time of day. No, we're not because they're not, they're not whisper, whisper, and get all the tough not, chat them and all of that. Oh, we're going to get a chance to set up. We have five guys here, four of the guys. Yeah, Browning, sexiness. At Muma. My size. Yeah, my size. Uh, you get what I say? Hola, no, hola. Here, pulling up. It was know, say, Xavier voice dangerous, you know. He <laughs> running with that my size. Yeah. Hold on. Well, yeah. I'm you, but that's me that right hear it too. Yeah. So by the time she, whether or not she's interested in any of those guys, she's is inst instantly going to probably consider probably one of them. Yeah. Mm. Not knowing it's her time waste of them, but she'll find out in the long run. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And we there, so I go away from our look all way. So you're saying, so you guys are saying then that the whole nice guys finish last concept, it real? Nice guys never exist again. By the, it's like we got an extinct, you know, so we just try to figure out what for, what for do with what we are doing. We just have to work with it. Just like exist? Yeah. Are Basically. you of the same belief? Yeah, definitely. Trust me. You know, it's like, it's like, <laughs> it, <laughs> it's like Hey, you know, he's just there. That's, he, he's just a guy. You know, you know I, I Xavier. see him as a friend. I see him as a bro. That's what I was going to say, Xavier. See, oh, I think I know. Yeah, man, he's a nice guy, no, but I'm a friend. <laughs> no, but I feel like guys are part of the blame for that. The nice guys. All right, so my response to that usually is mm -hmm. not that nice guys finish last. Mm -hmm. 
but women like some sort of assertion. We now say the man them want Psst, baby. Mm-hmm. And really, really, I'm really, want breedy want with all that we're talking about. <laughs> no, the man them I, I lead yeah, with that. Them they see you and they say to them want breedy. That's really it. As a as a as a as a as a fellow man in the field out there, right? <laughs> a fellow Keep, man, right? <laughs> We're not talking about when those. Ladies, when ladies said to me, say, oh, we're not talking about them kind of way. I said, Psst, baby, love, I'm more and breathe. I'm just saying. Kim, I can guarantee you <laughs> that I have seen it in action. The same man there was say, hey, baby, I'm going breathe. I see a man them got them in. And breathe them, right? And well, even, even yep. so. All right, but, so what, it, but what I'm it, trying it to say. It does work. All right, it does work. Because guess what? I'm always in the world of a balance, right? Mm. So every, there's a bit of every person that you type out there. So fine, it works for some. Yeah. Yeah. But my thing is usually the nice guy tends to stay in the shadows. Them, They're fine being the best friend. Mm. They're fine fine being the confidant when you're in a your relation, relationship with your man not, not they're fine a not lot of nice guys not what? necessarily fine we just, we just go and build we're right fine, so because we're they're in the background right. and uh-huh. they're not really making a move as i said women like some level of assertion mm-hmm. some not really like yeah i run them down and rear. some love that because mm-hmm. it made them feel good mm-hmm. but some want you genuinely come to them and say you know say you know even if it is that you're soft spoken mm-hmm. all, but them like yeah as as diana Sing, you know, shy guy, she like the shy guy. Yeah. But the thing is, if we don't make a move, I won't know. And you, it's after the fact, you always somewhere down the line, you know, I've always liked you. What else I gonna do when we're done? Friend, 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 friend zone, you. All right, we're not even reach a friend zone stage. Remember that we're talking about persons that we look to, you know, and persons that what we look for and, and so on in people. So here we are. If you're talking about the whole dating thing, hold on, hold on. So some, some comments been coming in. I don't want to lose it because mm. you know that everybody's in the discussion. I'm engaged. Uh, so uh, Carty said, "No Sunday I see." So that is why the man them as you are said, "No, yeah, they move." Tash said, "Most of these men seem to not be interested in dating or courting just for your come chill." Mm-hmm. Tori <laughs> says, "Sometimes women dismiss some men too quickly, mm-hmm. speaking from experience, right? But sometimes, can you blame us?" Mm-hmm. That's what Tori said. Tash said, "It depends on the nice guy. Maybe there's no assertion, which is what I was saying." And Tash said, "Yeah, she agree." Then Katy points out, "Say Kim, there's a difference with a man and just a male." Mm. St- shots fired, mm-hmm. right? Kimmy and Marie says, "Some women." Men love the drama and toxicity and that's why i said the world of a balance there's a bit of everybody there but not me though some women though that's what kim, <laughs> kim is uh, like after the fact not yeah. me though some women though kim. and sammy joe said you are allowed to not be attracted to your nice guy friend mm-hmm. and tash said exactly because they pose as friends and the woman doesn't see them that way and everybody has a fox most of the nice <laughs> guys are aren't the person's type as well right so, so, so we're dropping everybody fever all, right. Honest, so all, all of that so all right so as i said we're moving from the whole nice guy concept because when i really think say nice guy Sit down and, and be, no, but and be what, best friend for the whole no, life. But no, but that's what we experience. But we're talking. I'm speaking from experience. No, I know Let me you not guys say. are speaking from experience, but what I'm saying, mm. those situation, especially them even show them in the movies, really and truly, now, a nice guy that is being the girl's best friend or whatever, side um, friend in the background or whatever, mm-hmm. that girl won't be his girl. Exactly. So that is not the but type of But then that concept dating, comes no about, about that nice guys finish last because of that. But what's the concept that you're talking about? Right. So here I am now. Because at some point, the so-called nice guys will eventually, eventually. ask a girl out, right? And the we'll kids on the line, but dating, eventually. Right? So here's our thing now, right? So you ask a girl to date. Nowadays, yeah, I can ask my friend Xavier over there if he's experiencing similar, you know, in his um, age group, mm-hmm. right? Nowadays, these ladies are, as I mentioned, the story you mentioned with the young lady there, she mm-hmm. she says she's going on a date, long time, she had to do for eyelash. Oh, the man was intentionally right? planned. Nowadays, right now, if I tell a girl, say, hey, what are you doing Thursday? Remember, you know, today is Friday, you know. So this is like six days ahead. Mm-hmm. If you ask her, what she had the Thursday? 90% chance she says she's not sure, but she probably are going to be busy. Mm-hmm. These young ladies nowadays are, these ladies nowadays, they're not as available to dating. Mm-hmm. Right? They want to know where they go, who they go with, or they want to know the plans before you even tell them which day you go. Are you, is that your experience as well, Xavier? To, a, to an extent. So yeah. if you plan ahead and tell her, say, listen, I want to take you dinner next week, Thursday, it's, is it, what, what's your experience yeah. in a situation like that? Yeah, they will ask similar questions as, as my friend Lionel uh, mentioned. Or in some instances, they will just straight off say, 
let me try see if we can squeeze your ear. Ah, <laughs> man, tell you. Can go on. I'll, yeah. keep, I'll keep you posted. I'll, I'll keep let you posted. know. I'll let you know. Yeah. You know, you don't get any, you know, um, let's say, follow up on it. Uh-huh. And, and first, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to, you know, court a young lady or date the young lady, but, you know, the energy that you put in, mm-hmm. Or the effort that you put in, you should, you know, get it out. So in those instances, I will still, you know, try again. Mm-hmm. Um, but after two or three attempts, I just let it be. All right, fair yeah. enough. So that's what I think. I think I don't know. I think probably because I, I think no, I would think most ladies, because ladies in a season, you know. Yeah. Right. So I Wait, think, so we not season. Yeah. <laughs> well, are no, we like, ever out of season? No, but that's the thing. It's like so. <laughs> like right now, ladies uh-huh. them have enough options I work with. Okay. And at okay. the end of the day. Them not probably want a relationship with the options, you know, but they don't mind the options. They, just want, the act- they want to feel like, yeah. They I'm like going out and they like doing that. And they so, feel good about themselves. So whether it's with a good guy or a nice guy or a guy, they, they see a future a guy with. Interest. Right. So you know who might be interested in saying, make Genuinely it sense. Genuinely interested. They, they don't have as much time as a lady. So you tell a lady now, say, all right, Thursday, let's do something Thursday. You have to go check her back. May I tell you? All right. Well, first of all, I'm read the, before I answer that, I'm going to yeah. read the comments. Tori said, but at the end of the day, big man a big man and boy a boy. Right. Sammy Joe said, honestly, I only friend the men with with who of them women because them less likely to put unwanted and she capitalized unwanted mm-hmm. moves on you. And Kimmy and Marie said, the older we get, we realize the nice guys are the prize. No, Kimmy, the nice guys are the prize, you know. Mm-hmm. With her, enough of them get overlooked because sometimes excitement. they don't make a move. Or excitement are going on that catch the woman in them eyes. Yeah. Too cute, agree. She said, true, Kimmy. Tasha said, if they tell you that they are not interested. Tasha, that's what I'm going to say, but let me wait. Um, <laughs> Carti, you can't make it look like you're desperate. So that's a good answer. Uh-huh. That's what Carti say. Tori said, tell Xavier some I can't hear him properly. So <laughs> as much as your voice right now, like a bitch, you won't hear you. Tash said, if a woman is interested in you like that, mm. all if you say you're going to get an ice cream, she's ready and willing. And Carter says, Xavier, take off some bass and talk up, please. <laughs> all right. And Kimmy says, Xavier sound like a nice guy. Xavier must be too nice. And Tori says, so, oh, oh, all uh, me, I go, I go know who nice if I'm afraid for date. All right. So what I want to say to your statement, right, mm. is that you see if a girl really genuinely interested in mm. you, there's no, ah, uh, me making no and but keep you updated. My- <laughs> you, you, you probably, you say, call, um, them say even ice cream. Mm. It don't enough to be ice cream. You tell me, say, listen, where I go outside when your steps. But that's what I'm saying, kid. I'm saying <laughs> and we made these, the time. These girls are not available to dating. That's what I'm saying. They, not, they don't really look somebody. They look in the outing. No, but guess so. Sometimes it's not about whether they're available to date or not, you know. Because I've been in that space where I just say, boy, I don't want nobody. I don't want nobody. Son, come stress me out. Mm-hmm. Right? But me, I tell you, if the right person and le- right is relative, Cut but if somebody you don't know the guy, you don't know the guy now. So. But if they mm. make the right move <laughs> and it catch your interest, because I can speak from experience, mm. your whole mindset change. You never there look nobody, but all of a sudden you start pre the person. Cause say you're the person you're intentional with the movements. <laughs> you know, you know he's saying he may be saying the right things without being genuine, but you're not gonna know that yet. I, I right? Over time you'll know. But if she is genuinely interested, no woman now come up with no bag excuse. Kim, you said something a while ago that gives away what you really mean now. Uh-huh. You said so first you say if him said the right thing. Uh-huh. And I may try to show you say if somebody said to you, cause being forward or being proactive is planning to say to you, hey, let's go and have yeah. a drink next week Thursday. Yeah. That's putting a plan, but that's not saying the right thing. Right after if that. If she genuinely right like you, that's that, the right thing. But she can't genuinely like it because she don't know you yet. Tash so say, yeah, look the wrong lady. We just uh, introduce ourselves here, you know, we're getting mm-hmm. to know each other. Oh, so, hold on, we're so, talking about introduction, introduction. No, we're not talking about introduction, inter- we're talking about introducing our interest in you. Okay, okay. So, it might be somebody you meet probably three months ago, and him actually just uh, start asking for a date. Mm-hmm. So, and I like, you know them, know them yet. So, your thing now that you said right after that, I say, gave you away, mm-hmm. is if something catch you, something grab you. You have to be careful that with that catch part there, you know. That mm-hmm. now is usually either something physical or something let's say what I, what I see catch most of the ladies them now is probably the location alright we're going to so stick, stick up in we're going to stick up in right, we're going to go to the break if a lady say listen <laughs> me hey let me take it to what's one of the hottest places alright our, our hotel around place let me take it to the, the hotel we'll come up the road so. this. right 
She more like if someone, let me give this man a try. <laughs> Make me see. We'll get into the topic. We we'll have the ladies for talk for themselves now, so no worry about it. No, you. they're going to answer that. I wanted to drop that so they can think about it when we get back to the from the break. Mm-hmm. All right? <laughs> so Kim talking the thing with Kim. We're looking at dating and different expectations here inside Fantastic Fridays on. It's a hot Mr. conversation. I will leave our feedback up on the live now when we come back from the break. I'll share with you what the feedback is. All right. 